Hi, this is Joe Satriani. I'm here to introduce to you the new JS2410 in muscle car orange. This is a great color and uh, I have found it to be very inspirational in the last couple of years as I've been working on it and we've been perfecting the colors of uh, both the, the body and the pickups. You're probably wondering, why did I come up with this orange color? Well, this goes back to, uh, boy, a couple of years ago, I was at a chicken foot rehearsal at Sam's studio and across the street there's this uh, place where they're working on cars and uh, I walked in there and there's this beautiful 73 Camaro in this color uh, with uh, a lot of stuff, chrome manifold stuff coming out of the hood. And I looked at it and I took a picture of it and I thought that looks just like a guitar if you're staring down the, you know, this way. And I thought to myself, we got to get this thing going. And I emailed it right away to the guys at the Ibanez Custom Shop and I said, we got to start working on this. And that started this long journey of trying to replicate this color. There's a lot about this guitar that is new and innovative for the JS line. So let's sort of break it down. The body itself, it's an alder body. I was looking for something that would give me uh, a bit more punch and maybe uh, the ability to cut through the mix a little bit more and uh, alder is a perfect wood for that. Let's go on to the fretboard, of course, the rosewood fretboard. And uh, the frets are what I've always used, the 6105s, so I really like them and uh, the Prestige Fret Edge Treatment. That's very important for ease of playing. So you can play like crazy or you can cruise. Either way, it's always gonna be comfortable. All right, let's talk about the neck. It's the three-piece maple neck and the innovation this time is the Babinga Stripe. Now, we've added it in there for a couple of reasons. Uh, I wanna start first with, with mine, just coming from a player's point of view. I was looking once again for a little bit more clarity, a little bit more strength from chunky rhythms to singing melodies and searing leads. I'm always looking for just a little bit more presence. And I think that we've really hit upon something with this particular uh, Babinga Stripe running right through the neck. Um, of course, it adds a lot of stability, which really helps anytime you, you've got 24 fret. Of course, we've got the Edge Bridge, still my favorite. I just think this thing sounds the best and the action on it is really beautiful. I really do like it. And, uh, and it comes with this very cool thing. We call it the ultralight tremolo bar. Uh, this is something that we were working on uh, for an extremely long time, trying to figure out how to get the boing out of the whole vibrato bar system, how to make it feel better when you're playing. And so it's a little bit larger. And uh, the, the whole thing about it, the angle of it, the way uh, its length, and of course the fact that it's very light, it just behaves, I think, uh, more like the way you'd want uh, one of these trem arms to really behave. And uh, so it's a great thing to have now. Uh, let's talk about some pickups. Um, this is a new pickup right here. It's a, a Satch Track. Now, what I was trying to do here was, um, since I've noticed that, you know, you, there's a lot of things you want to get out of a neck pickup. Um, on a guitar like this. Uh, and part of the problem sometimes is going from a clean sound to a sound that's got a lot of gain. Something happens to the low end. So what it does is it cleans up the low end a bit and makes it a bit more punchier exactly when you need it, even though you're playing a guitar like this. Now let's go to the bridge pickup. Um, this thing here, of course, uh, people who have had my 2400s know that I really like playing uh, the Mojo pickup. Uh, it's got um, I think just a bit more chunk, uh, and that's what I was looking for, fuller low end, fuller mid range uh, to balance out some of those really quirky uh, cutting uh, qualities that the Fred pickup had. And so this thing really sounds fat. The new record, you'll be able to hear this very guitar featured all over it, and you'll see how massive it sounds. It's really a great sounding pickup. And the two together, like I said, I think uh, we've reached a new uh, higher level of matching neck pickup and bridge pickup. So that's it for the JS2410 in muscle car orange. I gotta get me one of these too.